Alrighties, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so really quick, we're just going to jump straight into it. This video is not about to be super long. This is going to be because I hear a lot of chatter and on Instagram and people's comments on, um, you know, realtor websites. This is strictly real estate related, but it's just been so much chatter, a lot of misinformation. I've seen like in Facebook groups, I'm in a Facebook group of realtors and everybody is just talking about the misinformation that's going around. So let's get straight into it. This is going to be the top three home buyer myths. Alrighty, so number one, you have to have a perfect credit score. And eh, wrong, you do not. You do not have to have a perfect credit credit. You do not have to have a perfect credit score. Literally, I'm like, and you guys maybe hear the baby in the background. Literally, this is like the number one home buying myth. And I'm like, it sucks that so many people count themselves out over such a small misinformation point like good grief FHA loans on you only have to have a 580 580 so not even a 700 or a 600 580 yes it has to be a healthy 580 and we do kind of want you to be above that because during the home buying process your credit score is hit maybe like depending on the lender maybe two to three times so we don't want you to be right at 580 and then when you get hit you end up going to like 550 which ends up disqualifying you so we want you if you could even be like at a 610 you know that's cool but hey everybody's situation is different for conventional loans you only need a 620 and some conventionals will even work with you but again like i said in previous videos we want it to be a healthy 620 because like i just stated your credit is hit during the home buying process like the underwriting process with the lender they do run your credit like twice to see what you're doing this is why we say don't make any big purchases and yes you already want your credit reputation to be healthy even if it's not high we want it to be healthy as like you're making payments stuff is happening like you're not just out here tricking and you ain't got it home buying myth number two you need 20 percent down to purchase a home no you do not and i've said this on videos i put this on instagram i'm like let's just get it out because i saw in the facebook group that i'm in that one of her a lender said that a client came to her and was like oh my realtor told me that i had to have 20 20 percent down and fifteen thousand in an, a savings account false 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 you do not have to have 20 percent down right now conventional loans yes interest rates are going up but still conventional loans you can come with 3.5 to 5 percent down we always just say five percent just to be safe because some conventionals uh you know they kind of differ but it's only five percent of the home purchase price you do not have to have 20 percent now if you have 20 percent okay kudos to you you know you have a little more leverage to work with and you know you definitely your when you have 20 percent the credit doesn't matter as much so but you do not have to have 20 percent do not be counting yourselves out of buying a home if you do not if you don't have to go to some and i know this lady said her realtor said this to her so i'm like girl i don't even know who you work for what you're doing what's happening but this is totally oh ask questions i mean there's plenty of real estate professionals you know around and that's why i said in my home buying tips video you get the information before you even find a realtor because then that lets you know if you need to continue to work with that realtor or not if the lender already told you something else or you've already been on a lending website and you're kind of familiar with what's going on that means nobody can steer you wrong they can't count you out and I'm just saying that like like you don't and as realtors it's not saying that you have to do the lender's job but if your client comes to you and asks and is asking you questions 
why don't you know that information and why are you giving out false information it's 2022 information is everywhere literally i follow like 10 plus realtors on instagram and somehow we all have the same information so girl i, I don't i don't know what rock you're living under but come back come back um so yes that's why i made that specific point do your homework before you even reach out to somebody because then that lets you know if somebody's gonna send you on a blank goose chase but like i said for one is um you just want to make sure that person is you know accurate and on point and then for two it's very discouraging when somebody gives you wrong information and you kind of let that sink in and you just run with what that person tell you because you are so you assume that they're the professional so they know like obviously they would know but no that is not it find somebody keep asking questions that's why i say you do your homework before you even go to anybody because then that will let you know if that's the person for you and then home buying myth number three now i know everybody doesn't live in la or california or new york or like miami but the biggest home buying myth is that it is cheaper to rent than it is to own no wrong you're paying somebody else's mortgage already why not pay your own it is not cheaper out here to rent especially if you live in the you know the bigger cities like i said like la like miami or new york city or like even chicago like if you live in those big cities it is not cheaper to rent than it is to own yes you may not be living in the high luck city life but come on let's think about priorities let's think about common sense like are those things really important as to you owning a piece of property in your name you're paying your own mortgage yes the bank owns a portion of it but i mean it's still in your name when you sign off on the deed the deed is in your name so you know and i would even say it's harder to get kicked out of a home than it is to get kicked out of an apartment so I mean, and at this point during COVID, I mean, lenders left and right, they're willing to work with you down to your last penny. Even if you only have to give them, you know, 25% of the mortgage payment, I mean, they're willing to take it and willing to work with you because banks don't even want to go through the process of the auctions and all of these things. So I'm just like, stop, get that out of your head for one. Mortgage payments are pretty much equivalent to rent payments, if not maybe like a hundred to two hundred dollars cheaper. Um, so people get that out of your head. And I'm just like, I just be seeing like mortgage lenders and like I see like, you know, a couple people that are higher up in the real estate industry and I just see them talking about all the misinformation and like, you know, the questions that people have, the misinformation that people come to them with. And it's just like, are we all in the same profession? Like, why is there like, who's giving out the wrong information? It's literally like telephone. Like somebody says one thing and then by the time it gets 20 people down, it's like something totally different. And I'm just like, I hate to see it. <laughs> I really hate to see it. But I mean, I really just wanted to come on here and give that short, sweet message because I really need you guys to know that. So I hope this comes across a thousand people because like, it's just, it's so valid and so needed. And I feel like somebody had to say it. If nobody, I mean, we're, we're all commenting, you know, on the comments on Instagram and Facebook, but I feel like this needs to be bigger than the community. Like we need to get this out to the world that there is so much information about home buying. And literally that's why I, you know, bring the information on my channel because I want you guys to have the realities. Like everybody should have ownership in a home especially you know minority middle class you know lower income class they have yet usda loans that you know generally can help anybody so i want you guys to have information and i'm going to keep pushing out the information because it's just one huge misconception about home ownership and i'm just like i can't take it anymore my brain is about to explode so Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys. I will see you guys soon. Let's get to it. 2022, we're killing goals. We're 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 changing the narrative. We're switching it up. So, I'm just letting y'all know I'm 
I'm jump on board, jump on, jump on board, get in line or slide to the left. Peace.